pencils are amazing. They don't do anything by themselves. They're, they're always used to use color and techniques from other decorative areas to do really stunning things. As a tool, yes, yeah. you're right. And what I know about your company is that you've been on the creative leading edge of this thing almost from the time that you started with it. I, I first learned about doing stencil on stencil work uh, from talking with you. I, I don't know that anyone else is doing that. The multiple layers using the registration marks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I, when I first started working with the stencils, I really thought that it was going to be, I, I didn't know what to expect. I just based everything off of what my customers were wanting. They'd send me a design and I'd break it apart in my head and figure out how to create it into a stencil. And the method that was being used at the time that I started creating them was, didn't make sense to me. There had to be something better, something that was, uh, you know, less room for error and could, you know, be an easy, because that, it was complicated for me. And I, I wanted to simplify things, not only for myself, but for the customers that were buying the stencils. And so that's why I, you know, it created, I basically didn't really create, it's a technique that's used in the printing industry and that's the industry that I was originally from and I just kind of segued it into the decorative concrete industry and, and made it possible for, you know, the average contractor that, you know, that has no art artistic skill to be able to 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 create something artistically on a floor, whether it's a logo or a school mascot or something that's three dimensional and and that has you know has you know three dimensional value to it and pops up off the floor. It, now that of course is is something that takes more practice and you know uh, training. Uh, but but the simple designs, the you know simple one two three color logos are generally what most customers are ordering and those it's you know before I created these I really think that most people were intimidated by doing anything more than just one color if it was more than one color they weren't going to even fool with it because the process that was involved with getting multiple colors was just too time consuming and there's too many rooms for error and so with the stencils that I created with the layers, with the registration marks, you mask off, you expose only one color at a time, and the second layer masks the previous color, exposing a new element of the design to be able to be sprayed. So it's kind of the paint by number. It really is. There's, if, if you can follow instructions, <laughs> if you can follow instructions and have a little bit of patience, then anyone can pull off a stencil. And that's what I was trying to achieve. Stencils are a contractor game. <laughs> they do it. But it's, from what I can tell, you know, it's your creativity on the other end, the one who creates the stencil, and uh, you really teach them the method, uh -huh. and they go out and do it. So you're on the creative side of it, probably more than the contractor. Exactly. It takes all the, create, all the creativity out of it for them. It's more advanced than what was that we had before, what you guys had before. Uh, so, you mentioned that uh, you were in the marketing field before you uh -huh. got involved with stencils. What, uh, what, did, what did you do that led you to think that you wanted to be in this business? Well, I, um, I got into this business working for Americolis as their marketing director. And so that was my training was as a graphic designer and, and, uh, in marketing. And while I was there, one of my responsibilities was creating designs for the shows and uh, for the slabs. And it was not supposed to be a product line. I just wanted it. It was really just a toy yeah. <laughs> that my boss let me get. <laughs> and then it and turned into so much more. I mean, I just I have developed a serious passion for creating graphic design on concrete rather than paper. So your client is a contractor for the most part. For the most part, yeah. yes. So what's your philosophy about working with contractors? I'm their 
creative guru. Yeah. They can turn to me for anything creative they want on the and then not only that, but I've have a lot of experience with the dyes and mixing colors and so I get a lot of technical questions about yeah. mixing colors and, and products and I, I, if I can't answer it I'll find someone who can. I teach a lot of seminars and uh, this year is, I'm, I'm pretty booked, I'm uh, two or three a month and that's just the seminars and training class. It's really not about the money, it's really about nothing else other than I truly enjoy teaching these guys how to be creative and, 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 and giving them confidence in doing stuff that's creative on it. Is, is it a necessity? No, it's not. A, does design work on a slab? on any concrete floor. Yeah. It's not a necessity. It's a want. And, and I mean, and so, but regardless, I've noticed a trend. I, I'm not, my business isn't slowing down. It's only picking up. And, I don't, and, I'm, and it's not just because of my exposure. I think that it has to do with, you know, I, I think that architects and, and designers and, you know, engineers and whatnot, they're, they're learning more about what can be done with decorative concrete as far as the design aspects of and they're incorporating them into their into their designs, and then these contractors <laughs> are a little bit overwhelmed. And I want them to know that they can come to me. And